I mean, stop whistling. I've just okay, pressed. Sorry. Welcome to the Long Hot Cricket Podcast. With this is a double podcast. This is a, com- <laughs> a cricket companion. That's a nice oh, name. Okay. And a review of the two ODIs. Ching Rogan could sue us. No, no, he never. He never did the work companion. Did you bring the cheese and wine? Can we not? Because I don't actually like any of the people on there. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Can you not eat into the mic though? Because it really annoys people at home. Oh no. What do is. they call it? I don't actually know what it stands for. What MSR or something? What is it? No, that's um. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's like those YouTube videos with just people like eating and going whispering into the mic, being like, "Hey, honey, did you have a good day at work?" That's honestly Why? That's the worst Why did... noise ever. Right, but. <laughs> ASMR. Yeah, that's it. What what does that mean? What what? It's just supposed to be very like relaxing, but I think it's kind of like for creepy people as well. Okay. Like Is that. it like that thing for insomnia to solve insomnia? Have uh, you seen those? Yeah, it's something like all like it's like basically like white noise. Right. Stop the white noise effect. Hoover. It's what Ray, yeah. Wayne Rooney uses. Sometimes I just go and switch. This isn't true. I go, I go and switch the car on. <laughs> Shut up. What to go to while. sleep? Yeah. In the garage. Oh, uh, what's this? Owen Morgan's got a... Sh- cr- yeah, he doesn't a know the fielding positions, does he? <laughs> anyway, we are here. We are going to cover the first two ODIs. Third game was a washout. But we are also watching the fourth ODI live. We're not going to comment on it, though, are we? We're professional, you can't. Well, we're going to watch it. England are... Well, West Indies are 239 for four at the moment. Partnership of 13. Uh, and the 26th over. Looking like it's going to be a game... That might go all the way. All the way. Anyway. Should we get to the first one, The mate? first game. A, r- a good game. England win by the six wickets. And... Is that a big win in ODIs? Yeah. Is it? Well, it's not huge, but to win, to chase down 360 with f- only losing four wickets is quite a big win, isn't it? Why can we not do that in a test match? Because we're just not... That's just not the way the game's going for us. Yeah. All right. Go on then. Carry on. Who won the toss, mate? An interesting observation made by me. Look how nice it is there. Oh, no, I was thinking this. It looks like Brazil, doesn't it? Is West Indies the best place to go and watch cricket, do you think? It's got to be up there. Right, as a travelling fan. I've always thought Sri Lanka looks amazing. Sri Lanka looks good, doesn't it? I thought New Zealand looked pretty cool. The thing is, though, I just think West Indies gives you something more than New Zealand. You've got the, you've got the, the, the banging heat from West Indies. Yeah. So I imagine it's really Lords hot. is pretty good, though, isn't it? Yeah, but like for a travelling fan, I'm saying. Yeah, like for us no, to travel. Yeah. West Indies got, oh, but I know someone who uh, has an auntie who lives in Trinidad. So, mate. Wow. Well, completely we could, relevant. We've got accommodation, mate. No, I'm saying we've got accommodation. No, I'm saying. So it's what? just flights and tickets, and the tickets must be dirt cheap. To go to, no, no, it's going to be well, it's going to be expensive. No, it won't, mate. No, Do you know where the West Indies is? Are you patronising me? <laughs> it's not Wales, mate, or the Isle of Scilly. I'm not going there. I'm going to the West Indies, bro. That doesn't mean it's expensive to buy tickets when you're there. Oh, I thought It'll you meant plane to tickets. No, you gorm. Tickets to the match. Oh, yeah, no one goes to I'm going to just <coughs> turn up like, hello, let us in, please. Oh, I think you would do. For a test match, I don't think West Indies select test matches. Oh, my God. Forget it. No, go on. No, I, I was saying you'd have to buy tickets. You can't just turn up and they'll let you in. Yeah, but you could just buy them on the door. Yes. I, I don't think you're so this far through. behind what I'm I saying. I don't think you've thought miles... this through. No, you haven't thought it through. You lost track of what I was saying. So continue the story. We'd have to buy tickets, yeah. No, I was just saying Obviously. we didn't have to buy accommodation. All we'd have to buy is tickets, i.e. plane and tickets to the match, I would, obviously. I would get accommodation with the Barmy Army, mate. So Okay, you go for that. That will cost you and I'll stay in a nice house. With someone you don't know? Uh, I do know them. <laughs> One nil. Who is it then? I'm not really here. I'll just call them out so everyone wants to go and stay there. You don't know anybody. Okay, I don't then. That's fine. You can't. You won't. You'll have to pay for accommodation. I'd I'll be- meet you at the ground, but I'm going to sit sit separately because you're doing my thing. <laughs> I'll, sit, I'll be sitting with the Barmy Army. That, oh, Plunkett comes close. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'll be sat with the Barmy Army. Okay, mate. I don't want to sit with the Barmy Army. Sorry, but they could be our listeners. What if I want to have a snooze? Then just go to the snoozy part of the Barmy Army. No. They cater for all. No, they don't. I want them to they sponsor They cater us. for people who want to play drums, get sunburned, <laughs> and shout. That's what they cater for. Right, should we, get, should we get to the game, mate? We're also going to do comments, so stick around if you want your comment read out. We've got a lot, though, so you don't have a go at us if we don't get to all of them. Anyway, West Indies win the toss, decide to bat first. Do you think that's playing into England's hands? England, a team that likes to chase. 
Uh, not really. They must have been pretty confident hitting 360 for eight off their 50 overs. You kind of you're expecting West Indies. I text you actually. This is actually an interesting story. Off. This is behind the. Well, podcast. It's going to take a long time to get through this. I text you saying, "Oh, England have been set 360, but I still think they're going to do it." And you said England were dog. Uh, I said they were at test matches. N- no, I said the, the text messages were purely on an ODI format. You're going to get the text messages up? Well? Yeah, because Fine, I, I, I'll get, I know I'll I never well. I never mentioned the format. I'll get the format. I'll get it up. I never meant I never mentioned format. I was just upset at the bring tea. For the <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> well. Steak You're for such the a sun. Goal. Wine for the women who made the rain come. Seagulls All the texts you send me away. are just Wild trying to wind me up about things I like and play. I know you don't like, oh. but you pretend to. I like extras. Like I've got texts about extras, GSP. <laughs> I mean, just all things I I know that you don't like. Um, right, I've got my text. I prefer you didn't read it out. Well, I've but I've got no. It's just slightly rude. Uh, and I do say that I do put a downer on the England team. I can't write. I've, I've found a text message that says, I came home early just to nap. <laughs> Please don't let people. And then I compared their run chase to a run chase of the cricket team I play for, who plays at a significantly lower standard, and we've set a score similar. So it's not a big achievement. Here we go. England are chasing 361 in an ODI. And I still think they're going to win, Luli. Right, don't read out what I've put. Because I, I've put out... I've just said that I'm not a fan of England cricket at the moment. You put the you put up an emoji, which is a sweary finger. Right. They are all pants after that. Bro, they are dog. Right. And you said that you're bowling... This is just a comment on England cricket. You said that your bowling... Br- then I said that my cricket team has set 340 as a score in a 40-over game. So it's not that impressive. You don't know cricket. Right. Anyway... Go. You talk about technique, you don't know what the word means. You think going to West Indies, we wouldn't even have to get a ticket for the flight. Oh, my God. That's just world knowledge you ain't got. (laughs) (laughs) You're wearing a tie. Oh, yeah, that's because in my job, I paid a lot of money to wear this tie. (laughs) I've been busy working. I've been slaving. I reckon we're one of the bottom, for the job. Not me, not me. Yes, you are one of the worst paid for the job. Not me. Yeah, I can uh, promise you. Excuse me, you. have you ever looked at my bank balance? Are you told... No, I haven't <laughs> looked at your bank balance, but you told me how much you earn. It's a lot. <laughs> Should we just lie? That's why... Like, I cannot wait for this deal to go through, and I will be balling. Like, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to get myself the new Tesla. This podcast... Trading the old one. ...would have to bring in me plus four grand a month. And that's me. So you would get... That's after tax. <laughs> so you would have to... Like, if we were to make this podcast a business, you would get paid less than me because you don't do Why? any work. It's not equal, is it? The, what do you mean? The workload's not equal yes, to both of us. Yes, true. The workload, you do more of the work, but I draw all the all the viewers. So, so really, that levels out more in my favour, I would have to get four grand Because plus it would die a, a horrible, my, horrible death. To beat my current That's job. That's like saying Joe Rogan shouldn't get as much because Jamie does all the work. Not a fair comparison. Four grand isn't that much there you go. Month, is it? You see? Yeah, it is. You're the Jamie. Like I'm Joe Rogan. How much is... F- Mate, that's a lot. Of, it's enough. Just we can call grand. it a day for getting that much. Oh, Although we're only more now doing what we're So doing. anyway, I would get the £4,000 and you'd probably get like two, two and a half. No, you're so Jamie. I'm Joe Rogan. We would need if to get... If Jamie quits, he's replaced. If Joe Rogan quits, the podcast dies. So the so channel... That would, swings in my favour. You'd be lucky like if I give you anything, Pat. About six and a half grand a month for me to even just consider it as a job. <laughs> All right? That's just how well I'm doing. I can't. I, I don't. Listen, I'm not trading in my Tesla unless it's for the new one. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the big bad boy Chris Gale. Currently on 130 in this game, but scored 135 in the first ODI. Mm. Chris Gale, 39 year old, still showing people out there. He's that still he, got the eye, isn't he? Still got it. The thing is, is that he doesn't. The way he scores. Age doesn't really matter as long as he's still got his his reactions and his eye for the ball. He'll play for as long as he wants. And the thing is, though, people are currently talking about Chris Gale. The fact that we've seen on this series, Shy Hope get a bit unhappy with the fact that Chris Gale won't take anything more than a single. 
Right. Like he just, if there's a two there, but like just one, even yeah, if he but, just wants to get yeah, off strike. That's, 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 that's fine. He scores enough runs. It's fine. He does score enough runs. And this is, it's, he got 50 in the second ODI. We'll go on to that. But he's got a lot of runs in this ODI like series. You can't see Shivner and Shandapur if he couldn't run anymore. Not yet. He's just not got a career anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Chris Gale has. Um, Chris Gale, a massive 135. Had a slow start. Jason Roy dropped him. But 135 off 129 balls. And we saw something which was, wow, sli- sli- slightly strange. And that was Owen Morgan refusing oh, w- to come off the pitch as a goalkeeper. Re- yeah, that, was, that wasn't on, was it? Refusing to put on at Adol Rashid until Chris Gall had pretty much got out. Maybe a bit worried that he would give Rash the treatment. Not the best way to treat well, a bowler, I just surely. Think- any any anyone's up I don't know why you'd be more up for getting smashed than anyone else. Yeah, well exactly right, yeah. Shy Hope sixty four, forty from Bravo, and nurse twenty five down the innings. Three hundred and sixty, a big score for West Indi well, for any team, not just for the Windies. I just feel it's not enough. Well I said that I text that to you, saying so I think we will chase it down and you said no, England. I never dog. said no. Never said no. You said they are all pants. Yeah. That's not no. Anyway, let's have a little look at the bowling figures. Um, actually, what I did want to talk, talk to you about was Chris, the way Chris Gale went about his innings. And that was he started it's off... It's actually close to a runner ball. So it's, it's not like it's crazy, is it? Chris Gale, for the first 10 runs, was going at a strike rate of 33. Right, it's just the way he scores the runs. But he, he was very reserved for the first 15, 10, 15 overs. To be fair, he's done it a bit quicker in this one, hasn't he? A, a lot but, quicker yeah, in this right. one. But for the first 15 hours, he's very reserved. He was just knocking it around. And then, but he's the kind of person that can change gears, isn't he? Yeah. If he's there long enough, you know you're going to get a big score. Does he still have 333 on his shirt? Uh, I hope not. But we'll see. He's probably going to play a, a, a hook shot here. Lovely little poke. Man, he does struggle to run. Look at he? that. He really struggles to run 22 no, yards. No, he's, he's got 45 on the back of his. Yeah. Maybe it's just in like the IPL or something. Yeah. What? Last thing. Anyway, Should England's bowling performance. Oh. When you're getting knocked for 360, you're going to expect quite a few people getting with higher economies being yes. smashed around a bit. But Wokes picks up 259 off his 10. Good to see Wokes back in an England show. We haven't seen him much, have we? And he's getting bowled a lot. So he's not. And he is he's getting bowled injured. in the ODIs. Uh, We've got a lot of injury prone players, haven't we? Mo and Ali, 10 overs for 85. Ooh. Yeah. The problem is with Mo is that if he doesn't get it right, it kind of goes in the slot. I think he just bowls it in the slot all the time, doesn't he? That's his ball. He's, he's new, he needs to stop bowling it. Ado <laughs> Rashid, who mixes it up, mixed up a little bit, three for 74 off his nine. It's still expensive, but did well. Ben Stokes, the pick of the bowlers, which doesn't make me a happy bunny saying that. Three for thirty-seven off his off his eight, three hundred and sixty for eight, fifty overs. I'm sorry, we we are watching the game. The thing is, though, at the moment, West Indies are literally trying to play one. one they're hand, just trying one to bounce, score, yeah. They? <laughs> it's just it's they're going, just trying to slap every ball. They're slapping every ball, and it's going straight to a fielder. But England aren't going for the one hand, one bounce rule because they are gentlemen of the game. You know when bowlers bowl it short. Or not as in deliberately, like not bowling a bouncer, bowl a bad ball. Just what, back of a length, sure. Just or, a bad ball. And right, it gets yeah. hit and they get take a catch. Why do they celebrate it so much? Because they've worked hard for that. No, they haven't. Right? It's pants. Well, I don't know. If you, what about if you've bowled seven overs of really good stuff before it? If the bad ball gets the wicket, you be, should be more gutted. What about if you've set them up? Then you should bowl a deliberate short ball. What if they did and the pitch no, took the pace No, out. I'm saying they didn't. Oh, Chris Gale's that not that around. Point. Hit him, Rash, hit him. That's a terrible arm, isn't it? Rash, he's not got the strongest arm, has he? Anyway, let's move back on to these games. Jason, we go to England's innings? Jason Roy dropped Gale early on, so arguably you could say he had some runs to make. He scored 123 off 85. Brilliant innings from Roy. Nice to see Joe Root get some more runs. You kind of need some one of the top three. Top four, yeah. To, to, to really get going, don't you, when you're chasing a big score. And like you that. need them to get going at, at, a, at a rate. Yeah, 
Yeah, That's which needed. Roy does. Sets up yeah. the chance, yeah. doesn't he? We're, we're, we're very blessed with ODI, ODI batsmen, aren't we? Let's be honest. Let's just put them all on the test team. Oh, hang on. <laughs> you look at that. Oh. Apart from Owen Morgan, mm-hmm. this is England's test team. Well, Roy doesn't play. Yeah, but he will be, won't he? Yeah. Right. He's my opener for the f- near future. Yeah, I know. Roy 123. Best, I'd be a bit upset to get out on a good wicket. But Joe Root comes in for 102. He gets his runner ball. Joe Root plays that Jonathan Trot esque innings. Is, seems to just knock it around and still get a runner ball. 13 wides. Is that like, a lot? I like that. You've gone seems down that. A lot. I mean, it could just literally down be leg side, one of the boundaries. It could be a boundary, couldn't it? That's gone. You're right, mate. Those three leg boys really hurt the Windies in the end. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, good to see how Morgan score runs. 65 off 51. Stokes down the innings. Get to 20. But let's talk about Roy and Root. Two brilliant innings. Roy gets us well ahead of the rate, which is lucky, actually, isn't it? Because it takes the pressure off the England batsman when they're looking to score. 360 was once a humongous score, an impossible score, but now seems to be in the realms of... It's still above par, isn't it? Off. It's, it's still a big score. What do you think 300's par? Well, depending on the pitch, because we have yeah. seen... But Generally, on a good batting pitch. Generally, an ODI pitch. You want to be get, good, You want to be getting over three hundred, don't you? Generally, a an ODI pitch is normally yeah. a good. A, a, you want, a, yeah. Batting pitch. You probably do. You do want to be surpassing three hundred, but anything past three fifty is a big score. Huge, yeah, big, yeah. yeah. So, so it, England have done very well to chase it. Like, let's be honest. I know we just said things over. Oh, Wokes coming back on six for sixty-five on here. People are going to get so confused. Go on. Well, this is like a fight companion, bro. I mean, a cricket companion. Works coming into bowl. Should we just do a? Um, well, let's just do, let's just do. Should we do this over actually, as commentary? They don't actually commentate, though. Let's they just, just talk about com- something completely. Would you like to do this over as commentary? Just to, I would. Let's do this over as commentary. Oh. First ball or dot ball? Can we get? Wow, the dogs just jumped over you. Sorry. <laughs> Can we do the podcast? Listen, I think we should do a cricket companion, but to just come in like three quarters of the way through a game, halfway through a podcast, is kind of weird. And the second ball, Chris Gale knocks it out into the covers. Still no run. And the second ball. As okay. soon as you haven't said anything, and I've been yeah, on my well, own. Yeah, well, I've not agreed to do this. So, <laughs> 29.2 yeah, overs up. I think Owen Morgan started to find some form again. Owen, we're commentating this. I'm doing the podcast. Owen, come on, this is fun. Ben Stokes actually going to... He's had 25 balls for 20 Chris Wokes at the top of his run-up. And comes steaming in. Is Unstokes-esque. I think he's... Currently, Windy's are above the run rate. Comes in. Pull shot. Looks to go. Got a bit spooked. And England Poor can't fielding field. from Hales. Kevin Peterson. <laughs> it's Hales, mate. <laughs> and there's four for Chris Gale. And there's dancing in the crowd. If I had a good commentary partner, I think I could do that as a as a as a living. But I need someone to kind of buzz off. You were you weren't part no, of that. I was trying to spin. stay professional. Um, do you think Ben Stokes is just desperate to be a red inker? <laughs> Shut up. What? You don't even know what that means, uh, do not you? Not out. Before Owen met me, you didn't know what a pinch hitter was. That's not true. That's not true. I hit my first ever six after being ripped about not being able to pinch it. Leg by. So you're talking absolute lies there. Sorry? Yeah. Right. Should we get on to the second one? England win it. Good chase. So England win the first one, yeah. Should we move on to the second we'll one? Move mate? on to the second ODI, which actually was an ODI where the first one you thought England did really well to win it and West Indies. Were the, were the favourites after the first innings. But after the first innings of the second ODI, where England, where Windies win by 26 runs, you're expecting England to yeah, chase down well, 290, aren't you? when you say they love to chase. Kind of weird. And you expect England to win that, actually. Well, you've got Chris Gale made 50, Rashid bowled him. Actually, good ball, bowling the deucer at um, There you go. Gailey. Evidence of... I'm not really sure the bowling makes much difference when it comes to Gale. I think if he's on it, he's going to slap it, it what, whoever's bowling. Well, what was happening was... Is a good ball is still a good ball, isn't it? Because I, I, I was actually watching this game um, live and... Come on, mate. 
Keep going. Listen, you just what was get that distracted. From I'm not distracted by this. So I was watching that game live and Rash was throwing that deucer up. Right? I'm not sure it's a deucer. Is it I a think googly? It's Which a googly? one is it? Googly. Well, I don't know the difference. Okay. Well, I there know they go. go the other way. No, don't you don't know. Go on. So he's throwing his googly up. Right. And he was getting Chris Gale to... Above, above, Above his eye line, trying to slam it, but obviously it was going the other way, and Gailey d- and Gailey missed it. You get, bold. Good bowling. You get bold. Get bold. Get bold. Get bold. Perfect. If I had a, what um, a satisfying way, the googly. That's just the best. If I had a way t-shirt brand, I'd be saying get bold. Don't know why. Just come to me then. Get Maybe. bold. What? No, okay. no idea. All right. Um, uh, adverts. You've come down. They're, they're meant to be chopping down on these betting adverts yeah. in between things. It's a shame because I wanted a betting company to sponsor the poddy. If you, if you use the word poddy, then you can't be my friend ever again. Okay, I won't. <laughs> um, Hetmeyer, Hetmeyer, who I actually praised from the test cricket, made a brilliant 104, did really well down the back end of the innings to get through to his 104. 100 heavy series. Yes, there has been Isn't a few hundred. Which is, a sh- which is good, actually. Shame for England who couldn't do it in the, uh, in the test series. Rashid gets one for 28 off his six. Stokes, one for 62 off his 10. Plunkett, one for 39 off his 7. And Woody comes in for one for 38 off his 10. Very economical. Mark Woods shown himself to be a bit of a good bowler in, in the Windies. But 289 for 6. A brilliant Hetmeyer 100. And you're expecting England to go out and... Especially uh, after the first test. If uh, I'm honest, to knock it off <laughs> easily. There's Warney now on the telly doing an advert. Warney wants his breakfast. Did you ever do, do that, that advanced hair clinic? I don't need it. But if you have, if you were ever in the need, um, no. Uh, no, no. Sh- sh- shave it. You got to yeah. buzz it once it gets to a certain point. Yeah, just buzz it off, mate. I don't think I'll ever lose my hair anyway. Got, I've got mountains of it. Looks ridiculous. <laughs> um, England not make the best start with Roy going early and Bairstow going early. Route thirty six. Owen Morgan in it- the. In a is this a good example of what we just said? What's that? Someone, when you're chasing a score, although this isn't a big score, is it? So it applies less. But you want someone at the top of the order to really put put yeah. down the gauntlet, don't you? You don't want to have lost two wickets in five balls. Well, you don't want to be 10 for two. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's just putting your back to the wall before you but, get going. They are two hundred and twenty odd for four before Stokes goes. Yeah, they. Yeah, I mean, they still give themselves the chance, don't they? As a wicket. So by the, it's not so this highlights. Is, this is why you'd be terrible <laughs> at commentating. Okay, well, I'd be watching highlights when I'm commentating. They watch the screens while. No, while I wouldn't. I would be old school. <laughs> I would be watching the, the little telly. You'd have the binoculars out. Yeah, you? I'd be watching the game. Um, sorry. Yeah, Owen Morgan. There's no. What about if you have to do it from the studio? Then you'd have to. Well, I'm not doing it. Oh, you'd refuse you se- to. Yeah, you send me to the game, or I'm not there. That's why I'd have. That's why I'd, my career would last. It's like you know, he goes to every game when he comment. He won't commentate if he's not there. That's why he's so good. Anyway, I'd be like, mate, I'd be so good wherever I was. I just need to feel the atmosphere. England needed another fifty, sixty odd runs in the last ten overs, and they were only five down. But we saw. Something we're quite used to seeing in England colours, and that is a bit of a collapse. Mo and Ali getting bold. But look at him make 34, Ali 12, then Tom Curran, 0, Rash 15. And unfortunately, when you get yourselves down to 260 for 8. Curry went for two th- Goldie. 230 for 7. Is it Golden? Yeah, first ball. you got to get him first ball. you got to get him early, or that guy is going to get in and he's going to score. Yeah, but he's out there for two minutes. That counts as well. Wow. Two minutes. <laughs> Mark Wood, Red Inca, good lad. Which is all you can ask for. Exactly. <laughs> what more can you want from him? But England start to lose it with wickets coming from Holder. Which I let's can we talk about Holder for a second? We can, mate, if you want to. He's shown himself to be a really, really. Good you hate cricketer. him. I think he's good. I've never rated him. I know. I, don't I always go off stats. Here. I don't. Is his stats any good? Well, obviously. That's why you like him. <laughs> don't like him. <laughs> What's ne- your point then? I've never rated him, but he's actually played really well. Right. This whole series. There. Test matches and ODIs. There you go. Just shows you don't know what you're talking about, really, doesn't it? Well, seeing as I got voted best commentator, 
Who who voted on that? The ECB. The ECB. Yeah. Who would right? Oh, Galo, Galo. No one's out there. Patrol on the boundary. An extra cover. Watch this for a bad ball, Owen. Watch this for a bad <laughs> ball. This is a drag down from my dealership. We're just going to watch it. It was like a, a back... Oh, that's halfway down the pitch. And he sort of spliced it as well. Still nearly went for six. So England fall 26 runs short when they should... Oh. Should have gone on. Oh, gone! How's that? <laughs> And of going upstairs. This is such a mess. 30.3 overs. This is great. Do you remember the time we did that podcast? <laughs> Where we did the scratch cards. Yeah, that was it. Scratch yeah. cards. Completely ruined it. 95 on the back of his shirt. Why has so, she got 95? Do you like those new boots? Those I would wear them in running shoes. The ones the lads are wearing with the Nike. Oh, oh dear. He's gone. Oh, dear. He's gone. You could give him a week. He's not getting back in. How slow's a wiki? He's gone. Oh, he's back in. By no, mate, his foot just lifted. That's why you wouldn't make it in the he's, international game. He is. So he's the out. stumps have been gr- broke, broken down. I think, I think his hands. He's out, mate. Do you want to have a bet? Well, let's have a little look. Do you want to have a bet? Anyway, let's have a little look. This is interesting for the guys at home. Can you describe what you're seeing, Owen, for the guys uh, at it's home? It's a stumping. His foot's not grounded. He's out. <laughs> so it's a big. The line hat. is out. He's out. Uh, oh, trying he's to bring trying his... to get his foot back. Still not in. Bales haven't broken and he's lifted his foot back up. We actually saw in the first yeah, ODI out. Jason Roy get away with one, which I thought was out. But um, I think this is going to be not out. Oh, my God. Oh, there we my go. God. That is why I would be in a oh tr- job. That's why cricket needs me in cricket. Oh, my. Owen is just not suited that right for there, the game. That right there is home advantage. Oh, he's just. That right there is home advantage. Oh, and it, That's what you when get. The stumps for home, home were, advantage. Were, were brokered. He was home in. Home advantage. Just after the stumps were broken, he was out. I hope they uh, don't win this because there will be question marks. <laughs> That's the. He's tried to bowl him around his legs with the googly, and Chris Gale's just slapped it past the wicketkeeper. And then he's looked at him and just said, yeah, "There's no need for you to be here, pal." Can we go? Back? Can we just talk about Ben Stokes' innings of seventy nine oh, oh, with. Okay. <laughs> he's just that absolutely that is completely village Chris there. Gale is currently taking apart Adil Rashid he's up for a double here well batted 151 not out for the for Galo going for the 300 Morgan 70 Ben Stokes 79 in the second ODI now those two just one of those two needed to stay for England to easily win but you're expecting England to go on and win with Butler, Moeen and Tom Curran mm. But you want one of them to stay around, don't you? You need a top order batsman there. Oh, oh my god! Straight up, I don't think no, he's cleared this is it. Six. You've yeah, got, you've just got it. no concept of the game. That's, That's the biggest big one he's hit <laughs> ever. Just terrible. This scale <laughs> has just smashed Adil Rashid for twenty-one off and over. Not that many, really, is it? Would you like to do comments? Yeah, sure, mate. Hit so me up. Those, give me some. Give me some comments. Whoa! Those he just two. plants the front foot. He plants the front foot. He knows that if he bowls it short, he's so slow, he's got enough time to rock back. And he just plays through the line, and his bat is the size of Thor's hammer, and he just sends it over Out the ropes. Out of 10, how do you think we reviewed those two ODIs? Out of 10? Four. Oh, well, to be honest with you, if the, I, are you going for a two or well, a three? Well, where, where does the channel sit in the when we on average, out of 10? Six. That's not too bad. So then. we've dropped by two. Yeah, you... but it takes us below five, which is really bad, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> right. So let's have a little, little look at comments. Go on, then, mate. Well, d- Hit me up with the first one. Pal. They're loading. What, what do you want? Long time ago. Long, long time ago. I will have. A, I'll have a good answer for any of this. Oh, wow. I mean, it's a long time ago. Okay, are they still so relevant? Don't three do, months don't ago. Don't do irrelevant ones. <laughs> three months that ago. That was the last time we did a podcast. So relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Connolly, 2 a.m. when podcast magic happens. Not today. Is that what you said, is it? That's the comment. Yeah. Okay. Not today, half past eight. Yeah. Is it? <sighs> Marcus Connolly again. And Jason Holder looks good. Go off his legs. Marcus Connolly, three months ago. It was great because three months ago it was only six podcasts ago. So and there you go, it's relevant. The five minutes before every podcast where David and Owen talk about the most random stuff is what makes the podcast a podcast. We didn't do that today. No, we didn't. So don't listen to this one. 
Uh, Asad R. Attar was an ugly B. He means B, the B word. Okay. I agree. We must have been bad, mate. I think. I think we talked about him going out in Worcester every night. Oh, no, that. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Good Yorker there from. Chris Gale just checked if his if he'd been bold. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Connolly just dug out a Yorker and then checked to see if it had bowled him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on, mate. Aidan Markram, best opener for me. Him and Elgar are formidable. I'm a big Elgar fan. To be honest with you, I haven't seen much of this Markram. No. Wouldn't even be able to have a team play for that. Just tells you what cricket is for me. <laughs> go on, mate. Hit up with another one. No. Wabba! Just fine, fine, mate, fine. What what happened to the scorecard? I mean, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> unpopular opinion: Leg spinners have no place in Test cricket. That is an unpopular opinion. They're off and a ridiculous <laughs> one. This is from Marcus Connolly. Big okay, fan. sorry, Mark. Cuss. <laughs> Their off-spinning brothers are far more accurate. And I feel wide ball, and I feel turn the ball more with their standard deliveries, unlike leg spinners who rely on the googly. Uh, oh, and just try me at the end, okay? <laughs> Often leg spinners oh, go how long is this? round the park. <laughs> well, Owen, last time Sorry, you on. commented on someone's comment and you said it was boring, they never commented again. I never commented. No, I've a, never put a comment on the end of someone's comment. You do that. Seeing as Marcus is a big fan of the, please don't upset one of our I'm big fans. I'm not going to upset like him. Like you did with that one bloke, no, I forgot I what his name was. He used to come on every single one and you said he was boring. I never said he was boring. He put boring. stats down. Marcus, I like you. Come on, get on with it, mate. Often leg spinners go around the park as it is ha- as it a hard art, often producing long hops, pun intended, or full tosses in between their genuine rip snorters. The evidence is there to be seen. Top three wicket takers of all time are all spinners. Two offies and one leggy. I would argue Shane Warne is one of is one in a generation, and it shows how remarkable he was that he was the best in the world. Let me be clear: leg spinners have a place in the white ball game, where I actually think offies are useless, as you actually need variation there, and very few can offer more than a standard ball and a straight one. Any thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm in total gobbledygook. What what, what do you think about it? Um. It's not totally gobbledygook. I get what you're saying, but tell it's, not, you what, it's not true. Tell you what's happening. Right. It ties into with your theory of this has been the worst standard of international cricket for yeah. the scene we've seen it, right? And that's because we have Can you... I can name you a few, a good, some good leggies. I think leg spin is harder to bowl. And that's the answer to the question. So you've got Adil Rashid, good leggy. ODI. He, no. You've got... He's not a good leg spinner. He's here. not a good bowler. Good leggy. ODI. You've got um, Rashid Khan. Good leggy. ODI. You've probably got other bowlers in there that I've missed out. Um, nah, no. What's that? What's your point? That All leg spinners do well in ODIs and there's not crickets. any in test cricket at the yeah. moment. So that's maybe telling you not necessarily there isn't room for a leg right. spinner. There's just not a just good one at the we, moment. We just don't have any good right. ones. But can you name any good... Can you name how many other... Leg spinners, can you name in Test cricket that have done really well as as a leggy? I've got Warney, obviously. Um, how can you name? How many can you name? Is it, uh, who the Indian guy who bowled it quite flat? He became a coach. Oh my god! I can't Stoney. Guess. No, Kumle. I know Kumle. Yeah, he was, he was he, a leggy. Was he? Yeah. Mm. You kidding me? Nah. You want to bet? He was a great leg spinner. Well, we'll leave that up to the audience to decide. Can you name any others? Um, thing is though Shane Warne is in the class of his own and leg and spinners are rarer aren't they they are rarer because it's harder but I think I'm not I think if you're good enough to play you're good enough to play uh, yeah, it's just, no, yeah it's got nothing to do with the I mean, with being what a leg bowl, spinner it? or an off spinner I think we're just at a at a low it's just rare in, we're at a low in spin aren't we especially in England absolutely in England There's we haven't seen a good spinner for Australia well Lions alright Right, that, that tells you the standard test cricket at yeah. the moment. I'm going to move on to the next one. Thanks. Thanks. Was a nice comment. Would you like to say thank you for the comment? Yeah, well done. Uh, Duck. Worth Lewis. Duck Wells wasn't doing the reviews. He's just a, a little oh, yeah, bad. 
who thinks he knows when the DRS is better. This is just talking about Sri Lanka. And yeah. So I think he's just right. he, he got a bit a bit a bit eager. This is right. three months ago. Even though he's always wrong. When he was doing the DRS sign, it was meant to be an indication to the captain that they should use a DRS, even though no one in world cricket does this. Basically, he's an overexcited twonk. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Well, I agree. So I I'm presuming we commented on this. The um, the captain has to make the the, the final yes. call, which is really what should have happened. Al Al Palazaka should have gone up to Kappa and said, "Mate, get off the pitch." Yes. What's his? How do you? Sp- <laughs> I've got no idea, mate. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. It doesn't sound that hard when you hear Aspen it. Aspen Equator. As- Aspen or Aspen or I don't know. I don't know. Mate. I don't know. But do you think he should have gone up to Kappa? Shouldn't he? And said, "Get off, mate. Go on, it's time time to time to go." You don't let them match start until he comes off the pitch but do you know it's not the umpire's got no sa- the umpire the ref's got the ref's got no yeah, say that's, behind that's it that's fine but you go I'm making a substitution it's gone through you have to hand over paperwork for the they, substitution they never called it they never called his number did they the guy had the board up I've seen no, it they, the, the board never went up the, it was a talk about it saying you're coming off come off we're doing it now and he's like no no I'm are fit. you telling me the board never went the up for numbers well, what's the complaint then? That I don't understand the complaint. He was saying you're coming off, and the bloke was just like, "No." And that, they, they never well, if you up. put up the board, then but he's like, he's like, no, you can't cry about it if you then don't tell him if you don't officially make the substitution. You can't cry about it. Well, I'm. Well, I mean, I, I thought they'd put the numbers up. I was. I'm pretty sure they did. If they didn't, you can't cry about it. Sorry, has lost the dressing room. Because I've seen memes of the guy holding up the board with Cabby waiting there and they've changed the numbers to get the fuck off the pitch. <laughs> so I'm sure they did put the numbers up. Press the button. Um, maybe he has, but I'm pretty sure he didn't. Yeah, they did. You don't know. I watched the game. <coughs> You're an idiot. Right, next one. I Thanks like for that comment. <laughs> uh, Nabil Hussain. It's a dream of mine to watch Test Cricket at the stadium in Dharamshala, India. It has the Himalayas as a backdrop. If yeah. you were to go and see a cricket match outside of the UK, where would you go and why? We've already yeah, done well, that well, one. We've covered it. Me and Owen just tried to do the um, high five and the mic for that, so we, we didn't... We, yeah, we're not, we're not doing we it. We bailed on it. Um, do you know what that would be a good idea for? I don't know what the high five... No, not for the five Sorry. five. For the, the five five? We could do like a, we could do like a companion mm-hmm. for highlights, and that's for when the World Cup is, because there'd be games like one after another, couldn't we? Oh, nice. Like we could just wait until the end of it and watch highlights. <laughs> well, I could say we could do three days worth of highlights. Yeah, just the final. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next comment. Cheers for that. We came up with a good idea off the back of that comment. Um, You're going to yeah. like it. I've do you like it. all of them? Two people have liked it, though. Do you like all of them? Well, once I've said so I know I've said it. So that's why I like them all. I don't like them all when they go up. I like them now, three months later. I'm not sure you should do Marcus that. Connolly, I want another draft. I think that's when we're talking about um, okay. life. People do like the drafts, don't they? I feel like it's too easy, so it's kind of a flake out, but people do actually like yeah, them. Yeah, they do like the drafts. So we, sh- we should do more of I them. I quite like making them, but it's going to be hard now because we, we've got T20 draft to make. Uh. Um, Nabil Hussain, the thing is it's three months ago, so it kind of loses Does, its... It doesn't matter. Uh, I've not seen the film. There's something about salmon. What is that about? Something about what? I think we 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 might have said something about salmon. Something about he's, salmon. He's, he's put a timestamp on there. But three months ago, mate. Three. I don't know. Ago. I don't know. I said, ah, finally. When the, when I br- <laughs> did you see that I put a cricket captain saying New Year, New Me. <laughs> What's it? Like? You've done a cricket captain. Those were recorded like two years ago. <laughs> so I put the fourth episode out saying New Year, New Me. I said, ah, but finally, three months later, I haven't put another one out. Marcus Connolly, one month ago, they are back. Mm. That's Two. a lie. It turns out to be a lie. Ah, oh, this is good. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when we did the fantasy draft for the best ODI team? Oh, no, right. stop looking at my You're screen. <laughs> Why? Why can't I look at this stuff? Oh! oh Kingdom Opa! Ben it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. Rolls in. It's going to be a fight. Stumps Look at him. Look how being... angry Ginger's got. That's what happens when you take lots of Red Bull and lots of fights <laughs> before a game. No one cares. Chris Gale stumps like, oh, scattered across no the ground. No one likes you. Everyone likes the guy you just got out. And Chris, Chris Gale, Gale's just put out a hit on him. <laughs> Chris Gale has tried to... Chris Gale could beat Stokes up, couldn't he? Uh, yeah, he just he pick him up and tombstone him. 
Chris Gale has just called for a review on a bold. Look, at, <laughs> look how long it takes for him to get off the pitch. He doesn't care. He's just got out of the inner ring. 162 of 37 ago. deliveries. 37, 97. <laughs> That's why he wouldn't do it. Right. So Come this on, is our fantasy boy. teams. The, the Are you going to read through the two 11s? The averages. So I said we trust did this. This is the averages. Yeah, we did this. We haven't done this. We talked about averages. We didn't talk about each and average, okay. and, they, and he's done uh, it, right? No one cares, though. That's Just not the point it. of a fantasy draft. 37.37. Jason Roy, 37.85. So you're beating me on that one. Marginal. It's irrelevant. Best, though, 48. You went with Alex Hales, 37. I went with Root, 51.5. Trot had an average of 51.2 in yours. I beat you on that one. KP. <laughs> this is so stupid. An average of 40.7. <laughs> Ian Bell, 37.8. Are we honestly rating it by averages well, to see who won? No, but averages right. are a big part of the no, game. No, it's not. And this is a good comment because he's put lots of time into it. Okay, this. all right. All right, Owen, you beat me on this one. I said Oishar, average of 30. Butler, average of 39. Oishar is pants. That Co- that just shows how, what, how misleading averages are. Okay, okay. Collingwood, average of 35.3. Stokes, average of 36.3. Both are relevant. Luke Wright, an average of 20. There. You are just like <laughs> all over him. He's pants. Sorry, you put Curran there, average of eight. He's pants. Yeah, Curran's played like two games. He's got 50 in both, so that's a lie. <laughs> Adil Rashid, average of 20.56. Brezzi, average of 19. Chris Wokes, an average of 27. Swanee, an average of 13. Plunkett, an average of 20. Brody, an average of 12. Goffey, an average of 12. Jimmy, an average of seven. So I beat you on that one. Thanks, Asadar. Great comment. Lots of averages showing my team as the better team. Marcus Connolly can't believe that we we didn't mention Flintoff in that podcast. Honestly, but, right? But then went to, went on later to say, "Oh, just realised you spoke about him. My mistake." Still gets a like. Honestly, do you think your team is better than mine? Yeah. yeah. But let's leave that for now. Nasir Jones, England got their I bottoms don't. whooped in the first test. I don't believe you. Well, they did get their bottoms whooped in the first test, mate. I'm talking about the teams. England lost the series. I like Nasir Jones is just telling us what's happened in that series because we didn't actually upload anything on it. He was doing the uploading for us. He was telling Cheers, us fans out there. Thanks, Nas. Nasser. <laughs> Marcus Connolly, grab the popcorn. What about a rainy day when you bring the podcast, when you bring to the podcast five or six cricket things that you know you and Owen have differing opinions on? And argue in detail and let the viewers hear the YouTube gold. That seems to be every podcast. Uh, yeah, well, we do it's just anything do. about cricket, isn't it? You don't know what you're talking about. I have to correct you and then you are just belligerent and don't change your opinion. Not true. There's lots of things I know about. Cricket, skateboarding <laughs> and UFC. Okay. You're just trying to wind me up again. I like. You You don't know anything about skateboarding. You're the worst person I've ever seen attempt it. Just the most unnatural person at it in the world. You look like a seal who doesn't know how to slide on ice. It was this just is ridiculous. A, I can just see my face. I'm doing now is actually annoying. <laughs> that would annoy me if I was watching that. Um, cricket, you know the phrases, but don't know what they mean. So make a living off that. And you don't make a living off it. <laughs> And then UFC, you don't know what it stands for. You don't know anything about it. You only reasonably follow it because you spent too much on the computer game, Ultimate and you turn off takedowns, so you don't have cages. to. So you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to actually figure out what's going on. I believe that anyway. Have, good podcast. UFC shouldn't be in in Enjoy. the cage. It should be out in like a football okay, field. You just arena. To Joe Rogan a few times. <laughs> right. Uh, about time these B words uploaded. Acid R. What your really? cheeky mouth. What's that cheeky mouth of his? You liked it. Got to like it. England, they got ass whoop. Oops. Nasir Jones just keeps on telling us Can that. you stop liking them? You guys should upload after every test match. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should, but we don't. <laughs> we can barely upload after every month. Yeah. Nasir Jones after that, I love you guys. It's just a nice thing to say. I don't think you should like all of them. It's like setting a president. I've got the heart one for the really good ones. I could oh, do. okay. Right. I don't do the heart. <laughs> um, is this the last one, mate? Well, no, well, it is, but also we're very... We're happy. not going six months back. What are you doing? Uh, Pajara, Raul Dravid, Dean Elgar, 
Ross Taylor, Stevie Waugh, Jonathan Trott, Misbah Al Hook. Are these all great leggies? <laughs> these are all legends of the game with a bit of leg spin to them. Go on. These are the types of players it suited for number three over my bed dead body types. Why are you trying to block it? I'm trying to look at the players he's listed. England need to get right. one of those. Not players who play IPL or franchise 2020 cricket. I would love to have Raul Dravid as an England player. That would be amazing. Dean Elgar is one of the only players who still plays there. Ross Taylor does, maybe. <laughs> Ross Taylor might still play. But Dean Elgar is a fantastic player. I would... Oh, oh it's gone. It's no, hit, hit him it. straight in front. He hit it. What do you reckon to that new weird guard the umpire wears? I think safety is important. It's, it look, doesn't he look ridiculous? No, it, it looks cool. Looks the like RS he's from timer. Troy. Tro, tro, Tron. Anyway, it, mate? what did you say about... Would you like one of those players to come and play for England? Miss Barlow All of them, please. Nice, All of them. All of them. And that's up, up, and Away. Down. Six more. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this podcast, make sure you give it a like. We will try and come back to maybe do another joint podcast together and maybe even a companion. Oh! That's going down leg. Going down leg. Good, good little off, um, uh, offer. <laughs> no. For defence. It's quite easy to read, isn't it? Well, I've faced... You don't have a clue, so yeah. Let's end it there. I Cheers, lads. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed.